Nothing beats some shut-eye after a long day. But what's actually going on when we're sleeping? Sleep is a lot more than just an off button. And you won't believe what your brain is up to while you're dozing off. Let's find out the secret truth behind sleep and what exactly happens with your body and cells if you don't get enough of it. Part 1. Why sleep? Although shutting down for several hours a day seems like a disadvantage, nearly every animal on the planet needs to sleep. Humans, dogs, birds, even flies. But what makes sleep so vital? And what really happens when you go to bed? First, sleeping allows the brain to gather memories. You can think of the brain as a giant post office, where events from the day pile up on the desk. When you sleep, the office is closed and the workers can take all the paperwork from the day and put it into the right filing cabinets. This happens through a process called memory replay, where the brain reactivates specific neural patterns to move your recollection of events from short-term to long-term memory. Second, the brain cleans itself and removes waste products while you're sleeping. During the day, several byproducts of neuron activity can build up, such as adenosine, carbon dioxide, and a protein called beta amyloid. These waste products hinder your brain's ability to function and, in the case of beta amyloid, are even linked to diseases like Alzheimer's. Luckily, your brain has a janitor called the glymphatic system, which uses cerebrospinal fluid to flush these waste products out. When you fall asleep for the night, Special support cells called astrocytes that normally maintain the structure of your brain shrink, leaving extra space in between. This allows the glymphatic system to move through your brain easily, cleaning up every part of it. Finally, sleep is critical for development and repair of both the body and brain. While awake, you use a large number of muscles to perform various tasks, but there are even more muscles you might not be aware that you're using right now. These are called tonic muscles, and they work in the background to help you maintain posture and keep the body supported against gravity. When you sleep, these muscles are able to repair themselves. Not only that, but chemicals such as testosterone and HGH human growth hormone allow you to build muscles and grow. Sleeping gives your body time to repair and rebuild. And even one week with minor sleep deprivation can lower testosterone levels by up to 15%. Part 2. What if you stopped sleeping? One teenager named Randy Gardner was curious to see how long he could go without sleeping. In 1964, he enlisted Stanford researchers to help him stay awake for as long as possible. I wanted to prove that bad things didn't happen if you went without sleep, Gardner said. He had no idea what he was about to go through. By the end of day one, Randy was already feeling extremely tired due to a buildup of adenosine a neurotoxin that gradually increases the longer you stay awake and causes feelings of mental exhaustion. Changes in the body's metabolism, brought on by sleep deprivation, led to lowered production of glucose, a sugar used as fuel for energy, and resulted in Randy also feeling physically tired. Increased inflammation brought on by lack of sleep lowered Randy's reaction time and prevented him from repairing any muscle strain too. Testimony from his friend Bruce, who took notes during Randy's sleep experiment, said that he had to be kept standing at all times so he wouldn't suddenly doze off. By this time, Randy was already more impaired than a drunk driver, and it was only going to get worse. By day two, Randy had lost his ability to tell objects apart by touching them and suffered from headaches and blurry vision. Randy also began micro-sleeping, meaning his brain forced him to become unconscious for several seconds at a time in order to make up for the missing rest. 
By the time day three rolled around, Randy's body was starting to suffer just as much as his brain. Research indicates that sleep deprivation reduces the activity of natural killer cells, a critical part of your immune system, by over 70%, which meant Randy's body was 4.5 times more vulnerable to illness and 1.6 times more vulnerable to cancer. Increased levels of cortisol, a stress hormone, also caused Randy additional emotional strain. By day four, his brain struggled to interpret sensory information coming from the eyes or ears, which meant Randy now suffered from hallucinations. Buildup of adenosine and beta amyloid in information processing sections of the brain blocked memory pathways, meaning Randy's recall and attention span got so bad he would stop sentences midway through speaking. As more toxins clogged the brain, it completely loses the ability to differentiate between external and internal stimuli, which meant Randy's hallucinations got even worse. He often claimed to see a forest path instead of his house all around him and suffered from severe paranoia likely brought on by surges of dopamine production in his sleep-deprived brain. By day 11, Randy's attention span was non-existent and he failed every skill test he was given. When one neuroscientist asked Randy to count down from 100 in increments of seven, he only made it as far as 65 before forgetting what he had been asked to do. A few hours afterward, Randy was sent to a naval hospital where he finally got some bed rest. He woke up a few hours later without any permanent injuries or health problems though Randy would attest to suffering from insomnia many years later. You might think this means a person can survive going without sleep, but the truth is actually a little more complicated. For people suffering from fatal familial insomnia, commonly known as FFI, a rare genetic prion disease that prevents you from falling asleep, chronic sleep deprivation is always fatal. Even though the body and brain can handle losing sleep for weeks or months on end, in doing so, it racks up waste products like beta amyloid and tau proteins, causing gradual damage known as sleep debt. This debt builds up the longer you go without sleeping, and as every debt, sooner or later, it has to be paid. For people with FFI, this means worsening paranoia hallucinations, dementia, and eventually, death. Even if you can survive not sleeping for a little while, there's no denying sleep is essential for staying alive and healthy in the long run.